President Biden is in Israel kicking off his three-day trip to the Middle East. While the president visited Israel many times before, this is his first trip to the region as commander in chief. The White House says Mr. Biden will meet with Israeli and Palestinian leaders to discuss Iran, regional security, and to urge Israel and Palestine to take steps to allow for future peace talks. The president will also sign the Jerusalem Declaration. That document will be the baseline for the U.S.-Israel relationship. The relationship between Israel and the United States covers every issue that matters to our mutual futures. We're united in our shared values and our shared vision. CBS News White House reporter Bo Erickson is traveling with the president and joins us now from Jerusalem. Hi there, Bo. So can you tell us more about the president's agenda while he's in Israel and what he hopes to accomplish? Hi, Elaine. This is President Biden's 10th trip throughout his career to Israel. And usually as he comes to Israel, he's focused on one thing, and that's the peace process for the Israeli and Palestinian conflict. But now that he's president in his first trip to Israel, that issue is really not getting top billing by the White House for this trip. Um, it's not really seen as the right time to move forward or try to push that issue. Even today, as President Biden landed here in Israel, he said that the peace process is really not going to get started in the near term. So what is he trying to focus here on in Israel? He's trying to focus on, as you said, regional security. And what that really means is all signs point to Iran. It's kind of like the umbrella hanging over this, these chats between the U.S and Israel. As you mentioned, he is going to sign tomorrow alongside the Israeli PM a doctrine that basically says that these two countries will do whatever they can to try to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. And now while that is a really big goal for them to have, they're also trying to do some more targeted steps to warm tensions between Israel and Arab nations. For instance, they're really trying to push the Saudi Arabians to uh, open up airspace for Israeli planes in order to allow Israelis to fly over Saudi Arabia. That is currently does not happen. Uh, this issue is not a shoe in though, so we will wait to see if, you know, President Biden can crank out uh, the success at the end of the week. And Bill, looking ahead to President Biden's schedule for later this week, he does have a controversial meeting with the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia scheduled. What do they plan to discuss and what is the White House messaging around this meeting? Well, yes, that is a controversial meeting is because of what President Biden said when he was campaigning for the presidency. He called Saudi Arabia a pariah state because of what the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman did to facilitate the killing of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018. So people may be asking why the reversal? Why would President Biden want to do this? Well, some Middle East experts in Washington are saying that this trip is really called break the ice diplomacy. They're just trying to get in the same room and restart the conversation again between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia. Now, this decision does definitely does not come without criticism, especially from human rights experts. They question why President Biden specifically is not going into these meetings with the Saudis with specific concrete asks about what they could change potentially on human rights in Saudi Arabia. We do not know if this is also going to happen, but we will wait to see when President Biden meets with Saudi officials on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going to be watching that meeting very closely. All right, Bo Erickson traveling with the president. Bo, thank you.